Hello everyone, welcome again to the Dr. Olubenga Digital TV. Today I want to bring you lessons from the Nigeria Cameroon quarterfinal match that was played on Saturday, 27th January 2024. Now, the lesson I want to draw from this football match is on goal setting. All through the month of January, I've told you I'll be talking about goal setting on this YouTube channel. Now, what I want to say is that you must have multiple sources by which you can achieve your goal. Ademola Lukman scored twice as Nigeria earned a place in the quarterfinal of the Africa Cup of Nations with a 2-0 win over Cameroon. The former Everton Fulham and Leicester midfielder scored a goal in each half to help secure the Super Eagles place in the last eight of the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations. All eyes by the Cameroonians was on Victor Osimhen. So, though Victor Osimhen, they marked him very well, like two people were marking him. But here is this individual, Adimola Lukman. He was not given so much marking. What does this teach us? Because Ademola Lukman was not so much marked, that was why he could come out and have his way to score. But Victor Osime, that was seen as the hitman of the Super Eagles, was marked down. Though all his attempts, the way he was being blocked. But there are others in the team that can also score. The lesson for you is that if you have, you have a goal, the goal you have set don't have only one way to be able to achieve that goal remember that each of the 11 players on the pitch on the field they can score but all eyes is on victor or Simeon. have multiple ways to achieve your goal but let only one way be known to people have multiple ways by which you can achieve your goal make a few or only one known to the people that are there in your circle of influence or outsiders or anywhere even insiders don't reveal all the possibilities you have to achieving your goal to everybody at different points you have different sets of people in fact in the training among the coaches a coach may even talk to a particular, he may brief the, the players together and tell them, you, 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 make sure you, you go for the goal. You, 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 make sure you pass the ball to the people scoring. At a point, the coach may identify somebody that is not among the three he has said should go for the goal, may should go to score. But the individual has shown potential to score. He can call the person behind and said, see, don't tell anybody. I want you next time, the next two balls that you get, out of the five you're going to get, two out of it, try to score by yourself because I've seen potential. So previously, I said pass the ball. Now people are expecting him to pass the ball, but he's going with the ball to score. That is how it should be. Let the people that will, the things that will do to score, all the people you will use to score your goal, let them be hidden. Don't let all of them to be in the public glare. I must also say that Victor Osime was popularized. And because of this, they marked him up. Make some of your goals, make some of the things you want to use to achieve your goal popular. But have other alternatives that you are going to use in achieving in the achievement of your goal if you open up all the ways to achieve your goal humans your competitors people around you they will come to block all the ways but once they don't know the other ways the other avenues there's no how they can block it the other avenues don't let all the avenues to achieving your goal be known to everybody let some be hidden even your inner circle, don't show them all. You can show your inner circle, 
more ways by which you can achieve your goal than you show to outsiders. But at the same time, your inner circle should not know all, should not know to A to Z of what you are going to use your, to achieve your goal. We have so many players in Tunisia, um, the Nations Cup that was played in 1994, that was Tunisia, that was the year the Super Eagles went to USA 94. Nigeria played against Zambia and it was Emmanuel Amunike, just like this individual that scored the two goals against Cameroon in the quarter-final match, just like Ademola Lukman. Emmanuel Amunike came from nowhere to score two goals in the final of Nigeria against Zambia in 1994 Nations Cup. He came from nowhere. He came from nowhere. I think he was playing the left wing in the midfield and he came from nowhere to score two odd goals. Rashid Yekini was there. Other players, Emmanuel Aminiki was there. Other players were there. Finiji George was there playing his number seven and they did not score. The eyes were on this Rashid Yekini. They were marking him because his only job was to score. They were marking Emmanuel. Amu, uh, Amu, uh, they were marking the other uh, ball, the other men like Amukachi. But this Amuniki was not a uh, was not a scorer, so to say. He was not a scorer. He was a midfielder, but this midfielder was prepared to score two odd goals. In fact, he didn't just score, he dribbled his way into the net. This one of the goals, he has to jump to avoid collision with the goalkeeper. Set your goals. Don't let all your goals be known to people. Then, even the one they know how you will achieve your goal, don't let people to know how. These are vital lessons you can learn from the Super Eagles' success at the quarterfinal against Cameroon. I must say, the Super Eagles need to be careful now so that they will not go ahead and lose the semi-final because of the popularity they have gained from the quarterfinal. Another thing you learn here is that don't let success, don't let the achievement of one goal to prevent you to achieving the next goal. Even if you have achieved the best goals that you set, be calm and be cool. Work hard to achieve the next one. Don't give time to frivolity. It is not time to relax. It's not time to play. It's not time to, 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 to do anything. Eyes on the ball is what it should be. In the past, the moment Nigerians start praising the Super Eagles, ah, they are doing well, they are doing well, they, they just relax. And then they fail woefully. This time, this is a message to the Super Eagles. Don't relax. This is a message to you too. No matter what you are doing, don't relax, don't relent. If you achieve one goal, sit up and prepare adequately to go for the next goal. If you achieve the next goal, sit up, prepare adequately to achieve the next and the next and the biggest of goals of goals. When you achieve the biggest goals, another goal is set, being set before you and you go for you to achieve it. Don't be giving in to frivolity. Don't be giving in to money, women, and worldliness. Stand where you should stand, and you will see that the sky is your limit. I can go on and on about people in life who achieved great success, and then they fell down from the success. They achieved great goals, and then they fell down. If you don't want to fall down, find out what made you to achieve the goals in the first place, and then work on developing more of those capabilities to enable you to secure the goals that you have already secured and how you can secure more and utilize the ones you have already. Dr. Olubenga Aditun is my name and this is the Dr. Olubenga Aditun TV where I bring you information, life transforming information, money-making information, business information, educational information, migration information, and information that is going to make your life better. 
I want to tell you some documents you need to have to prepare for your goal. Number one, have a driver's license and know how to drive. Number two, have your international passport. And then number three, any other document you're supposed to have, have them. On this channel, I teach you how to make money. Have a business name or register a company. Register a company and get ready for opportunities. I will talk to you in the next video. And um, I want you to subscribe to this channel. Share the link of this video with your family and friends. And also go ahead and subscribe if you have not subscribed. And I will see you in the next one. You can drop your comments and questions in the comment section below. This video showing by the side now is the next you should see. See you in the next video. Bye for now.